Now the next one is called six low pan. So the full form of six low pan is six signifies the IPv6. Low is for the low power and pan is for personal area network. That is IPv6 low power personal area network protocol. Okay. This six low pan is uh, uh, containing uh, more thing to connect, uh, connecting more thing to the cloud here. It is uh, very much suitable for uh, IoT applications. Low power IP driven nodes and large mesh network support make this technology a great option for Internet of Things application. As the full name implies, IPv6 over low power wireless personal area network, the six low pan is networking technology or adaptation layer that allow IPv6 packet to be carried efficiently within small link layer frames, such as those defined by at early 802.15.4. So here it says that actually it is making a combination of taking the uh, advantage of uh, IPv6 and taking the advantage of 802.15.4 and they have merged these two, uh, two technology and make a hybrid technology which is very much suitable for IoT applications and for low power devices. This is the layers in uh, um, uh, six low pan stack. As, as we know that the physical layer and the Mac layer are the same as 802.15.4. Then we have so six low pan layer, which is the adoption layer, which is um, uh, giving the adoption with the network layer. In the network layer, we use IPv6 and the RPL. We have seen this RPL yesterday, right? Routing protocol for low power uh, network, uh, low power uh, and uh, lossy network that will be used here in the network layer. Then we have the transport layer, which is talking about uh, using the UDP or TCP protocol. And for the security, it will use secure uh, uh, TLS or DTLS. And then we have uh, in the application, we have HTTP or CUAP or MQ, this, this is MQ, it is not MO. MQTT, web uh, 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 socket, etc. So these are the protocol that we'll use in application. The physical layer control uh, data byte into signal that are transmitted and received over the air that we don't all know that. The physical layer will convert the uh, digital signal to the analog signal, right? In six low pan example, 802.14 is uh, the, the physical layer for that 802.15.4 is used. In addition to the well-rounded uh, 2006 version of a standard to implement amendment exist E and Q, sorry, E and G. So see 802.15.4 has been introduced in 2003. In 2006, 2007 and 2009, there are some amendment that has been done, which is in the flavor of 802.15.4e, 802.15.4g, and they are having uh, some additional uh, uh, functionality on it. Both enhancement aim to further lower the power consumption and make interface more robust. So for that, some amendment has been done. That is for lower the power consumption and make interface more robust. The IEEE 802.15.4G is a physical layer amendment and aim to provide an additional range of radio frequency band to enable worldwide use even in the sub one, uh, sub one gigahertz frequency band. So has done some changes in the physical layer for, um, for uh, the low power uh, consumption as well as it is opening the frequency range band, okay? Then we have the network layer uh, addresses and uh, routes, routing the data through the network if uh, needed over several hope 
IP that is internet protocol is uh, the networking protocol used to provide our device with an IP address to transport packet from one device to another. So here we'll use IP uh, V6. The transport layer guarantee communication session here uh, between application running on end devices. The transport layer allow multiple application on each device to have their own communication channel. The TPC, T, TCP is the dominant transport protocol in the internet. Uh, however, TCP is an connection based protocol, including packet ordering, which large overhead and therefore uh, not always suitable for device demanding ultra low power consumption. For those type of uh, system, UDP, a lower uh, overhead connection less protocol can be better option. So here, uh, there are we we have the option like we can use UDP UDP or we can use TCP. So both the protocol we can use, but the thing is that the TCP is a connection oriented protocol. It means that or connection based protocol. So before communication, we need to um, make the connection between sender and receiver, and there are many um, control packet that has been flown. It is also including the ordering of the packet frame and which is not always the case in the IoT infrastructure. So instead we'll use UDP, user datagram packet. This particular UDP, uh, sorry, user datagram protocol. This protocol is a connection less protocol. So we doesn't have to make the connection before sending or receiving the data, okay? So, you see the UDP is just like the, just like we are, we are communicating in the form of letters, right? Physical letters. So what we do in physical letter, we write the letter and in the envelope, we'll just write the address and we'll put into the uh, letter box. And after that, we don't know that which type of which which connection has been taken or which route has been taken to reach to the destination. It is just like UDP. UDP is like that only. So UDP, in UDP, we will just uh, uh, communicate the data and we don't know whether it will reach to the rest destination or not. So because UDP is a, not a reliable one, right? Uh, just like TCP, TCP is just like communicating in over the telephone. So what we do is we make the connection first uh, over the telephone by dialing the number of uh, the recipient, and then we send uh, the the communication packet. But UDP is just like uh, writing a letter to, and we'll just write the address, uh, sender address, receiver address, and all, and we'll put in the little letter box. It's just like that. Okay? So there is a difference between TCP and UDP. And UDP doesn't require uh, much uh, control packets to be flown because we don't want to be, the connection will be established, right? Then in the application layer, as I told you, we, we can use any of these, any of these protocol. A broadly used application uh, layer in the internet is HTTP, right? Hypertext uh, transmission protocol that is used HTTP protocol. So any web page you open, you have to use T HTTP protocol, which is running in TCP, right? The HTTP uses XML, which is a text-based language, uh, which is a large overhead. Therefore, it is not optimal to use HTTP in uh, six flow pan system. So what we use is, however, HTTP can still be uh, very useful for the communication between six flow pan and the internet. For this reason, the industry and com uh, community has developed adaptive application layer protocols such as constrained application protocol CUAP, a message protocol uh, running over UDP similar to HTTP, but it is of very less overhead. CUAP defines uh, uh, retransmission uh, conformable and non-conformable message support for spe speedy devices, uh, sorry, sleepy devices, block transfer, uh, subscription supports and resource discovery. CUAP is also easy to map to HTTP via proxies. So we can use CUAP protocol as well as we can use MQTT protocol instead of HTTP, okay? So message uh, queuing telemetry, um, uh, transmission protocol, 
that I have told you about that also we can use. So CoIP can also be a very low power uh, communication uh, protocol that can, we can use. So this is all about six low pan stack and six low pan uh, different uh, layers and what are the responsible in of different layers. Another application layer, okay, as I told you, MQTT is also can be used. I told you about MQTT, right? It is based on publish subscribe uh, protocol. It is developed by IBM, which is called message queuing telemetry transport layer, transport uh, uh, protocol. 